This is a series of films that tells the history of contemporary fashion photography as seen through the eyes of models. I want so this is a question I want to ask you because you have children. Yeah. Do you ever find that you are inhibited by having children, i.e., that you would do more extreme pictures if you didn't have to show them, or you didn't uh, have to know that your children would see them? Well, I think about that a lot. Yeah. Um, but I have to be true to myself. Yeah. I think about that a lot. But you know what? There's a lot of things that a parent would do, could stop themselves from doing, hmm. and stop themselves from being happy and fulfilled because of their children. And I think children, in the end, they might have a hard time, but they're going to say, my mom did that, and I'm yeah. proud of them. Yeah. And I, I really believe that, you know? And your children are also half you, so, you know. Yeah, and I just think it, they won't admit it, but they're proud. True. You know, they're proud. And they're not going to say, oh, my mom's isn't. They know me because I go home and I'm a, their mom. Yeah. You know, I'm not like. And do they comment they, on, your, on your pictures at all? Do you ever kind of get any of your kids come saying, oh, why, why, why do you do well, this? Well, my teenagers or are actually proud of them all. Yeah. They're proud. Yeah. But, you know, my 18 year old is really proud. But, I, you know, my little boys, six and nine, they're not going to, like, look up, you know, a new. They laugh at it and go, oh, mommy, mommy. But I'm very free with my body at home. So they're not, you know, yeah. they're, they're used to it. Oh, funny one. Okay. Yeah, how am I doing? Well, that was American Vogue, I believe. Really? It wasn't in American Vogue, but there's another shoot, there's another picture. Uh-huh. And that was just a nude he wanted to do with me. Right. So how was, so... And, let's and Helmet, Helmet is very, it was, believe it or not, very conventional in a certain way. So I showed up with black roots uh -huh. and, and blonde hair. Yeah. And he said, that's ridiculous. I, what did you do that for? That's ridiculous. I'm not going to shoot you. And I'm like, oh, God, you know. <laughs> and it was Val Valentine. You know the hair jets are Valentine. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And he had a word with him. And it, yeah. Alice, his, his wife, yeah. and it, everything was okay. And um, then he wanted to do a nude. Mm -hmm. So I took off my clothes. And he said, look at that pussy. I can't, I can't take a picture of that. Because it's, it's either a full bush mm -hmm. or it's nothing. I'm like, well, I can't get a full bush now, can I? <laughs> so he went, he had his assistant go to his apartment to get a merkin. Really? Put on me. I'm like, oh, I'm not putting that thing on me. So the assistant, the makeup art artist, actually had to take me up to a bathroom and shave me. Right, right. With a big razor, shave me. So if you look really closely, you probably can see a lot of, a lot of blood. I don't know. I don't I think he touched anything. And I came down and I did that, and that was it. He and took about three. No, it took it took five minutes. Right. Yeah, five minutes. And so what are you hearing? What are you seeing? Well, I'm seeing the, the photo before that. Mm -hmm. I was standing there really kind of insecure mm -hmm. with him, with Helmanun. And then I said, stop it, stop it. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. And then I just struck, struck the pose. Yeah. And, and that's, that's the picture that comes out. But in my head, I was insecure. Right. I was still insecure. But if you see the picture before that, mm -hmm. to the picture, I was complete, you see a little girl completely yeah. Yeah. insecure, and then just the next frame was that one. And oh. that was the frame. And what's he and saying And that was a car you? park. That was a, car, a, a dirty car oh, really? park in Monte Carlo, yeah. So, and, I, and we had a good friendship with him. Yeah. As close as, you know, you could, yeah. could get. Um, but he, he was a meanie. He was a meanie, but he, I appreciate meanies because he wanted so much to get the right thing. When he didn't get it, he got frustrated. Yeah. Hmm. So he pushed the girls and pushed the girls. And, and he had me crying once. He had me crying. But that was the best picture he ever took of me. It was like, oh, my God, you know? Yeah. I was really crying. And, and I, I, uh, he was the first one who said to me, because I have a huge scar here, which is why I bleached my eyebrows, because this is a huge scar. I had 13 stitches here when I was little. So mm. my one eyebrow is like that, and my one out. So I just thought they're so uneven. Just take rid, get get yeah, rid of them. Yeah. And he said that scar, and he went like mm. that. Yeah. It's the most beautiful thing on you. That's so beautiful. You're like a doll. And I just thought, oh my god, somebody who appreciates a flaw in me. Yeah. That is incredible. Yeah. And he gave me that. You know, that, that just little things like that can give. Yeah. And I think when somebody compliments you on your insecurity, yeah. it's the most beautiful thing. Because, okay, they can say, 
you know, something obvious. You know, you have nice, nice tits, which I know I have. But you know, you know. But when somebody, some insecurity, and they say that, you just think, God, they really appreciate me. Yeah. And it's not just any perfect girl. They appreciate, you know, yeah. the, the the imperfections. And he was the one who did it. So that that was great. No, he, he was great, you know. He's, you know, yeah. And that was a good time. Oh, yeah, that was the same shoe. That was going to That say. was the American Vogue shoe. That's yeah. the same par car part. Right. Right before, right before the nude. And how long to get that picture? That was a long time. Yeah, that was a long time. I don't know, but this poor girl had to be in that, you know. Is it time. Shalom? No, nobody you know. Oh, really? Um, yeah, that was a long time, but... Do you know it's a funny thing? I have to say, hmm. I look at that picture and I see one thing. What? My, my mistake. Hmm. I'm holding it above <laughs> my mouth. So I'm not shouting at her. Shouting at You're it. You're breathing through your nose at her. I'm breathing up, yeah. <laughs> and that's the only thing I can see when I saw that. All right, I'd, I'd never and noticed that. He kept that saying to me, Helmut kept saying, put the thing down, <laughs> put the thing down. And I couldn't understand. I did. And I see what he means though. Yeah. I should have put the damn thing down. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense what I'm doing.